Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver has a history lesson for those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. He says, in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP, won a title, and stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. There is a through line that exists directly from Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's a great story, D.A., thanks. And on the floor tonight, a collection of some of the league's brightest young players. And make no mistake about it, these guys are a work in progress. But the talent is undeniable. Can't wait to see who becomes the alpha dog in this group. So the New York starting five. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Josh Hart out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the five down low. And for the Thunder, they've got Josh Giddy. Williams is out there with Holmgren. Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Dort in at the small forward position. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren at the elbow. Over Randall. And that one hits back iron. And Randall has got the ball here for the Knicks. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Greg, just like you, Julius Randall is a southpaw. Left-handed. Yeah, and you know, the angles are different for lefties. We operate a little differently. Shoot two. And I think that can throw defenders off. So I'm always going to pull for the southpaw. And the first one drops. You know, one thing Greg the Thunder have done a great job of, drafting international players. Players like Serge Ibaka, Steven Adams in the past. A few good ones on this current roster as well. Credit the OKC scouts for just finding guys all over the world. All free throws, good from Randall. Well, as somebody who grew up in New York and New Jersey, I was a Knicks fan, right? They have such a great history. Think back to the championship team of the 70s. Walt Clyde Frazier, then the Patrick Ewing era, Bernard King. They have had so many Hall of Famers. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Just five to shoot. Robinson with the block. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And the Knicks making a change here. Rickley's checked in. Oh, oh. 
And here's Barrett. Randall outside. About one minute into the first quarter. It's rebounded by Giddy. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Wise beyond his years. Giddy has a great feel for the game and terrific court vision. Well, the other thing you love, Greg, is the size he gives you out of the backcourt. Obviously, he needs to improve his consistency from range, but he's got all the tools you must have if you're going to be an all-star in the NBA. Randall, no good. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. What a pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's capable as a scorer, but finds his teammate there. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Robinson passes to Hart. And here is Quickly. New York, no good that time either. Now, Giddy. Gilgis Alexander deciding where to go with it. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Mitchell Robinson. Well, there's a level of aggressiveness that you must contend with with Gilgis Alexander on the offensive end. You love to see him force the issue. It's his first trip to the line. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Doris since 2000. The New York Knicks have won a grand total of one playoff series. What are their issues? Why the problems? Yeah, I think, Kevin, you always evaluate an organization in its totality. You start with the ownership group. Then you go to the general manager, down to the coaches. And how is your roster? What caliber of player is there? Clearly, they have not had stability amongst the GMs, the coaches, or the personnel. It does, however, appear that they are moving in a direction with a clear plan now. Now, here's Barrett. Rebound by Williams. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Here's the pass to Holmgren. Oh, no good on the triple. Knicks trail by three. Now here's Randall. Randall is doubled. Hartenstein passes to Hart. Nailed from three-point land. You can't afford to let Hart get going from deep. He's ready to shoot it when given the opportunity. Gilgis Alexander against quickly. Here's Holmgren. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. During the last decade, from 2010 on, Doris, the Thunder had the second most wins in the NBA. It's mind-boggling to consider that. That was clearly during the Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden era. The Spurs had the most in that time frame. What that can tell you, though, Shoot is two. small market teams can win in the NBA. And he knocks down the first one. And the Thunder going with a whole new group out there. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Passes it to Sharich. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Pick by Williams. Going inside. Rob. 
Here's Grimes. Right side Rose. There's a good screen. Pass to Hartenstein. Hartenstein. It's good on the putback. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And no good that time. And we reached the end of the first quarter. It's the Knicks leading by four. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next as a player. Uh, how do you adjust to that? I mean, it's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I, I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. Williams is out there with Sharch. Then it's Wiggins, and it's Mann in at the point guard position. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second. Now here's Williams. Wiggins gets to Sharch. Joe passes to Sharch. Here's Mann. He's covered by Rhodes. Clock at four. Releases. The shot by Sharch. No good. The Knicks leading by six. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. The front office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We continue to be forward facing in that respect. Kevin, back to you. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. Well, you love to see Derrick Rose from the guard position make himself a factor on the glass and finish. That is nicely done. As to Joe. Here's Mann. Williams a screen. Out to Sharch. Lets it go with a three. Higgins outside. Joe passes to Sharch. Inside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, the defender all over him. The Thunder have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81 percent, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. The first free throw is good. A different look for New York. Randall's checked in for Toppin. There it comes in for Josh Hart and quickly in for Rose. And so he makes both from the line. New York leading by four. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Grimes. Here's quickly. And again, New York with the triple. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. You know, Doris, I feel for guys like Emmanuel quickly. The college tournament canceled his final season. And that's brutal. You can never replace the excitement of March. But quickly is starting a long NBA career at last. That 2020 tournament cancellation ended a lot of college basketball careers. Clock is at three. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Boy, the young fella knocking down the three to answer on the other end. Wow. Go ahead, Gilgis Alexander. 112 left to play here in the second quarter. 
caught by Grimes. No good. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Trailing by four. Joe passes to Gilgis Alexander. Quickly against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with the steal. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Forty-one seconds left in the first half of the game. Williams against Randall. Williams kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Rocket six. Offensive rebound. Holmgren plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Holmgren's got five men. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. Here's quickly. Randall outside. Six to shoot. A three ball. Who's back up? No good on the last second attempt there. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Knicks lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Coach, this team is still developing. What do they need to do to really reach their max? Just keep working every day. Give maximum effort, great concentration, and play to win. Make winning plays. Sounds simple, but I know it's not. Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half the Knicks with the lead a chance here to get a quick injury report now for an update on Jalen Brunson's injury let's go to David Aldridge well guys I was able to catch up with the Knicks head athletic trainer from what he told me it sounds like he really strained his knee and there may be stretched ligaments thanks for the status report there David at least we now know uh, Greg how he's doing yeah, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. There's no question because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. Jalen Brunson out there with Hart, and it's Barrett at the three side. And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Part of a growing trend in this NBA, giving his team length in the backcourt. Yes, yeah, 6'6 with a 6'11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass, and he can switch onto frontcourt players defensively. That's what Shoot teams two. are looking for nowadays. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. And you know, Shea Gilgis Alexander's rise to NBA stardom was meteoric. Well, for me, GA, the more responsibility this guy seems to be given, the better he gets. He's improved every year, and at this point in Shea's career, it looks like his ceiling could be very, very high. That one is no good. 
What a promising future for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's long, he's athletic, he can play the one and the two, and perhaps the most important thing is everyone raves about his character and his coachability. Now, here's Barrett. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. King said he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game. Great vision. Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor. And he's showing it. Just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passers. David, thank you. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Williams, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Charge comes in for Williams. Well, Julius Randle has made it clear he has big aspirations as a player. And what you love is he's going to invest the time to make his game all that much more dangerous. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He has six. And the slam by Williams. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Randle a screen on Gilgis Alexander. The pass to Hart. Hart with the screen for Robinson. Randall kicks to Hart. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Hart's got six points. Yeah, Julius Randall has a good feel on the offensive end. On time and on target with the pass. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Hart. Fades away. And there's another one for the Thunder. And now this game's taken on a whole new feel since halftime. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. Now here's Randall. Five points in the game. Robinson a screen on charge. Randall finds Robinson. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. There's 117 left in the third. There's a screen by Williams. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Second shot opportunity. Williams can't hit. The Knicks have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. So the wing on the left. Three-pointer, Randall. That one, no good. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Charge passes to Giddy. Back to Charge. Up top, Giddy. Three-pointer. Hits it from three-point range. Giddy's got the lead up to three now for the Thunder. Now, this is going to help Josh Giddy's game. Boy, the confidence will rise if he can make these catch-and-shoot opportunities. Fades. That one a little long. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Now here's Giddy. He has six. Back to Sharch. Stolen by Brunson. Passes it to Randall. Fires from deep. And no good on the last second attempt this time. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Thunder out in front. They lead by three. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. They've got Holmgren. Williams is out there with Josh Giddy. 
And it's Joe in at the point. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Now, here's Holmgren. He kicks to Williams. Buries the long-range jumper. Williams has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Knicks trail by six. Brunson scanning the floor. Kept alive. Passed to quickly. Fires the three. He doesn't hit that one. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Pass to Giddy. Kicks it to Holmgren. The tray. The Thunder get it back in a new 14. And there's the pass to Joe. Now here's Williams. Shoots the three. And it's Grimes with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Thompson with it. On the wing quickly. Puts up a three. Connects from three-point range. Grimes has got his first three points of the game. That's a huge three-pointer. He'd love to become a go-to guy for them here in crunch time. Yeah, and when he gets going, he adds another dimension to their offense that can make a huge difference when the game's on the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. Take I mean, break. the three Take ball break. keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. First one falls for him. Both free throws good for Williams. You must embrace the pressure and knock down critical free throws. Nicely done. Here's Brunson. And it's blocked. They recover it. Let's it go from deep. Yeah, it goes. And the Oklahoma City Leafs got down to just two points with the bucket from Toppin. Well, big men like Toppin need to shoot from range. And he's showing he's got tremendous touch. Giddy with the screen on Brunson. Man passes to Holmgren. Giddy against quickly, and he comes up with the deuce. Wow, Josh Giddy might be young, folks, but a fearless big time bucket right there. New York takes timeout. They're trailing by four. 156 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Both teams will make substitutions. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David.
156 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Randall. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Now these are the moments of responsibility that Julius Randall relishes. Now you've got to make your foul shots. First one drops, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And we've talked about Randall becoming a leader, now taking charge and wanting to deliver at the line. Oh, free throws, good from Randall. And now down to a one-possession game. Those foul shots huge for Oklahoma City they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play and here's Gilgis Alexander outside sinks the three-pointer and the Thunder lead by five SGA that's Shay Gilgis Alexander to you big time clutch delivery Handle no good you know the ill-advised threes isn't how you want to close the gap we've got to have better shot selection Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Handle outside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, with his strength, Julius Randle can absorb contact easier than a lot of players. This guy is not going to be intimidated. the first and that shrinks the margin to just four and he cannot convert on the second that misses that one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Knicks trail by four. 58 seconds left to play here in the fourth. They grabbed their own miss. A fader. Robinson misses. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Here's Giddy. Sinks that one from the post. Giddy's got the lead up to six now for the Thunder. Oh my goodness, Josh Giddy in a big time moment decides to knock it down. Rando passes to Brunson. Barrett for three. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. R.J. Barrett might be young, but he does not shy away from the big moments. Good delivery, young sir. Giddy with it. Robinson picks him up, and he commits the intentional foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. 
When you look at Josh Giddey's overall skill set and combine that with the 6'8 size and the point guard mindset that he has, he is special. The playmaking, the willingness to score it in tough spots. This guy has got a bright future. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. New York calls timeout. They trail by five. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven seconds left in the game. To the middle. Here's Randall. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Boy, I love the confidence Julius Randall has in himself. This guy knows what it takes to score. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. I don't know how you can't be excited about Shea Gilgis-Alexander. This guy at such a young age accepts the responsibility of the big-time delivery. 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It's Barrett on the wing. Knocks down the three! Critical juncture, no hesitation. Wow. Eight seconds left in the fourth. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a three-point lead. A three and nothing but a three will do here. You've got to keep your composure and execute to get a quality look from three. And an intentional foul right there. Shooting two. Big 
Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.